Hey everyone, welcome to my World Games vlog. I'm not really a vlogger. In fact, I've never vlogged before. Please be patient with me as I try to record and make this. If you don't know how I am, my name is Caden Brown. I am a tumbling gymnast for USA. I'm headed out to the World Games tomorrow. I don't know what the World Games is. It basically serves as the Olympic event for non-Olympic discipline. It's something I've worked for and trained for pretty much my whole career. I leave less than 24 hours and I kind of just wanted to take you guys with me. Let's do this. Alright, kind of recording this out of order, but hopefully everything comes together. With less than 24 hours, i got a pretty busy day. I have an interview with Good Things Utah, cryotherapy, a little bit of coaching, and my last training. And I'm off to Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, I also got to pack. I should probably finish packing. Okay. <laughs> Last training, done. And now for my least favorite part, packing. Uh, it is Sunday, July 10th. I'm recording this in advance because packing takes me forever and I don't have much time this week. But I'm gonna start now. Thought it'd be fun to give you guys like a little insight on what it's like to pack for one of these competitions. USA Gymnastics gives us an apparel schedule. Basically looks like this, the clothes that we need to bring that they give us, as well as all the Leos. They are giving us six new Leos for the Olympic Leos, and I am so excited, especially for this one. If I make finals, this is the one that I wanna wear. Nice, but I'm gonna get started with packing. I would do like a little time lapse of me packing, but it takes me hours. So I will just see you guys when I'm done. <laughs> and two days later, we're done. My last training is also done. I leave for the World Games tomorrow morning. Less than seven hours. My flight leaves at 6 a.m. So time to get some sleep. <laughs> I will see you guys in the morning. Hey everyone, we made it. We are here at the University of Alabama. We're rooming here at the dorm. Today was a very long day. We woke up this morning at 4 a.m. for six o'clock flight to Denver. We had a three hour layover, flew out to Birmingham, except when we got to Birmingham, our bags were lost. And I still don't have my bag, but hopefully they're on the way. We did get some cool stuff. We got this cool shirt. We got this cool hat, a really nice, USA scarves. I got some stuff. The shop today. And 
then I got a shirt and a windbreaker. But yeah, we are here, finally. I'm gonna kinda unpack my backpack and then wait for my luggage to get here and then shower. I feel disgusting. Head to bed. Tomorrow we're waking up at seven, I think. And we have two trainings scheduled, but I'm only gonna do one just because I have till Sunday. And then we're gonna watch some other sports. Today we watched uh, kickboxing. This is so cool. But yeah, it's been fun so far and I love it. But I'm gonna head to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And day two is done. First training is done. Mostly just kind of getting used to the floor. It's a little stiff in the training hall, but I love the competition floor. Mats are also a little stiff, but I think they're changing them out tomorrow, so that will be good. Tomorrow, another training, and Ruben competes so many. Uh, we went and watched Corfball today, which I didn't even know what Corfball was. Um, I got to see both my parents today, so it was really nice seeing them. Um, I got to wear a new Leo today, which is really cool. Excited to wear my new one tomorrow also. Seeing all the athletes has been super cool. Um, I'm not used to seeing like people who aren't gymnasts at competitions like this, so it's really cool to see them. There's so many people here. The dining hall is like literally insane. Everyone is trying to eat at the same time. But yeah, um, I just got worked on. So that was really nice. Got like two more days of training and then competition on Sunday. So I'm really excited for that. I keep the body healthy so I don't like die on Sunday. <laughs> Things are great. I'm really happy here. It's like been a really cool experience. This morning's training was a little rough. I hadn't had my coffee, so I was a little grumpy. And everyone made sure to tell me that. So that was great. But I finally got my coffee after training and I ate and it was all better. So tomorrow's gonna be an even better day. I'm really excited. I don't get to touch the competition floor until I compete. That's a little scary. But I got two more trainings in the training hall and then it's go time on Sunday. So really excited for that. Anyways, I'm gonna head to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow.
little update so far. Training two is now done. Much, much better than training one. I got my coffee before I trained today. So much better and I was a lot happier and everyone was in a good mood. But no, training did go really well. Both past timers and end skills, that was really good. There's word that they might give us another training out on the competition hall tomorrow. So I'm really excited for that so I can adjust with the new runway. I extended the runway because it was a meter short and then the landing mat was super hard, but they flipped it, which made it like 10 times softer. The floor's good now, for the most part. So about to leave and head on the bus to go watch Ruben. He competes at four, so I'm super excited to watch him. I got one more day of training tomorrow, and then it's go time on Sunday. So many people here, there's so many athletes. The event is so publicized here. So many world games, banners and posters, and so, so, so cool to see. So I'm gonna go watch Ruben, so let's go watch. This is probably one of my favorite equipment we have. So this has ice in it right here, and it pumps through this cord into this compression sleeve. The best, it feels so nice. And day three is done. Today, actually went really well. My training went so much better than yesterday's. I actually was there for the training because I had not had my coffee yesterday. So I was like very tired, but I got my coffee today and it was good. We kind of went back to the village and got some lunch and then went back over to the arena to watch Ruben and Ruben killed qualifications. He had like a seven point lead heading into finals and it was awesome. And after we watched qualifications, we went and got some ice cream with Team Great Britain and that was super fun. And then we headed back to the arena to watch finals. Ruben was going into finals in first, which was amazing. We headed into finals too in first so finals one is top eight from qualifications and then finals two is top four and it's new life between the two finals but you can't repeat skills he repeated his triple pike uh, but it was so cool so so cool to see the atmosphere of the world games while he was competing it was a usa crowd and they were so loud for him it was insane i got one training tomorrow we got word that we are going to train on the competition floor one more time tomorrow. Originally, it was just the training hall floor, um, but like with all the adjustments that they made earlier that I mentioned, um, I was kind of nervous about, you know, adjusting to the comp floor because it's a little different, um, but they are giving us a comp hall training for two hours tomorrow, so I'm really excited for that. More day of training, and then it's comp time. I'm not coming into this comp with the expectation to win or to medal. I'm going to hit my passes and to literally just enjoy the experience. Who knows if I'll ever get something like this again. So enjoy the experience, try to hit my passes, and then whatever happens, happens. I'm going to head to bed. I'm going to shower first. We're getting up in the morning for training. We didn't watch any new sports today either. Gotten this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it turns out. And I don't know how long this is going to be. <laughs> we got here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What day is it? So yeah, I'll see you guys for day four. Bye.
is done. Today was really well. Training went really good. Mia killed competition and placed second. So super proud of her. Tomorrow is the day. <laughs> the day I've dreamed for so long. And I'm so excited. And training's been really good. I'm really happy and excited to show the world what I got. Really excited to just go out there and have some fun. No expectations, just wanting to hit two passes and do my best. Have fun and enjoy the experience. And whatever happens, happens. I'm gonna head to bed because I have to be up pretty early. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys then. Oh, it's so nerdy. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow. But it's Caden Brown, 20 year old from Utah. Third at the last World Championships, high caliber athlete and the last man to go in final one. Brilliant. And oh, no, yeah, just... that nailed it. That'll be yeah, through. <laughs> that should be in the top four. A sly look at his coach there. Brown doing enough to get through at the World Games. Third at the 2021 World Championships. He is a quality athlete and this is his moment at the World Games. Oh, so much height. Oh, Magnificent. got the height. We've got the forward motion and the crowd love it. He loves it. So emotional. Oh. So much pressure on these gymnasts. But he came out here and he delivered. a smile if he's emotional now it's about to get even more emotional 29.3 he takes the gold medal the arena erupts here in Birmingham Alabama wonderful to see everyone on their feet I'm sorry, what? <laughs> this, this is not real. It was like a dream. None of this seems real. Um, okay, so I guess let's just recap. So qualifications went really well. I hit both my plan passes and I was first going into finals one. So I was last going into finals. We had like about an hour break after we did qualifications. Finals training went really well. Heading into this competition, we had planned some different passes, but my body was having a really hard time. I don't think I've actually really talked about my injuries, just because I, I hate talking about my injuries. I should mention, uh, right shoulder, I've had a partially torn infraspinatus tendon for about two months now. That has been no fun. I had tendonitis in my Achilles and plantar fasciitis in my arches. It just goes on and on. <laughs> like, tumble hurts. Tumble hurts my body. Anyways, so we had a plan for finals. Just the whole new rules, it's so hard because Finals one, it's one pass, and that pass is what gets you into finals two. So, and that's top four from finals one. <coughs> it's really scary because it's like 
do you do your hardest pass and like risk it or do you do your easier pass but is your easier pass going to be enough to get you into finals too whole strategy game at that point and it's really scary but we had a plan i was just going to stick with the same passes that i did in qualification because they scored really well so we planned on doing the full fold and miller for finals one which was good except <laughs> i didn't i didn't really hit my full full transition very well and i like pretty much did a back tuck that was terrifying i was able to recover from it and still go for a miller out of it it was enough to get me into finals too that that was good <laughs> <laughs> the final was insane. I had second place in the finals too, but finals too, the order stays the same. Last position to compete. Again, terrifying. The arena was insane. The crowd was so loud. It was so crazy. Did full land double A to triple tuck. When I landed, I kind of had a feeling that it would be a good score to at least medal. <laughs> but right when I landed, the crowd went insane and uh, I'm such a crybaby. <laughs> but yeah, right when I landed, I just immediate immediate tears. Waterworks. <laughs> Becky, the biggest hug, and we go into the kiss and cry, and I'm waiting, and it's just the waiting game at that point, and it's literally the worst. So I sat in the kiss and cry, and I was looking up, and I was crying. I went to see my score slowly. When the result came in and everyone went insane again, I just more tears. <laughs> I had so much. It literally was the most insane feeling ever and everyone gave me a standing ovation i'm sorry what <laughs> everyone stood up and clapped and was screaming and people were crying i looked to my parents and gave them a heart and oh my god they straight out of a movie i cannot it is the most surreal moment of my life and to hear the national anthem play in front of an american crowd and have everyone sing the national anthem with you i just you what like that's insane. I cannot, I literally am just speechless. Let's see the medal. Let me show you guys the medal. There's the front of the medal. Um, but it has like all the different uh, events around the medal. This is the gymnastics one right here. It's the rhythmic logo. I wish they had the tumbling logo, but I'm not gonna complain at all. Um, the podium all got this little statue. We have a statue of this in Birmingham, Alabama. It sits on top of the mountain. But this was also the mascot of the competition, so that was cool. Also really heavy. I couldn't even put this into my backpack. I had to put this in my check bag because I thought this was a weapon. So that was cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm recording this video way late. I got home like a week and a half ago. It's been it's been insane. Like right when I got home, I've I've had like five or six radio news interviews and then i went straight to arizona to coach a competition and then my 21st birthday was yesterday so that was fun oh my god i like literally cannot believe it can you believe it bunda he literally can't believe it either he's speechless so if you guys follow me on social media you have seen me thank you guys so many times already but i seriously can't do it enough so thank you all so so much for all the love and support that you give me um i want to thank my parents for not only financially supporting me but being my biggest supporters they have seen my darkest days as a little kid i told them when i first joined the sport that i wanted to go to the world games and they were the first ones to believe in me so thank you mom and dad you're the reason why i kept going for this goal i also want to thank my teammates without them training would be pretty tough they keep me laughing and smiling the whole training training is so insanely fun with them and they are the reason why i want to keep coming to the gym thank you teammates USA and Wasatch teammates and I want to thank my coach Becky is the backbone to my gymnastics and I would not be here where I am today without her. She has become basically my second mom in this sport and she has supported me not only in gymnastics but in pretty much all aspects of my life as well so thank you Becky and then I want to thank I don't like calling you guys fans the people who love and support me I feel so much more attached to those people than just fans the word fans just doesn't do the job for how i feel you guys are literally family and thank you so 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 much for supporting me and loving me and just everything you've done for me throughout this journey it literally would not have been possible without you guys this is because of you guys so thank you all so so much for the endless love and support even the ones who don't support me thank you because you keep me determined to prove you wrong so Thank you. <laughs> thank you, everyone. If you've been involved in my gymnastics in any sort of way, thank you so, so much because I really would not be able to do this without you guys. So thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I've gotten this question a lot. What now? When I had this goal a few years ago going to the World Games, I planned on retiring after this competition regardless of the outcome. And for the longest time, I've always put a timeline on gymnastics. Now I, I've stopped. I enjoy it so much, so why put, a, why put an end to it? Gymnastics is a huge part of my life right now, but when I'm 60, 70, 80 years old, I don't know how old. In the future, I'm gonna look back and gymnastics is just gonna be a very small glimpse of my life. So I wanna enjoy it while I have it and make 
make the most of it and enjoy the experience, which is exactly what I did at the World Games, and I want to continue doing that. Plus, my body's able to do it. Why not keep going? Yeah, as of right now, there is no end. I would love to do another World Games in Chengdu, China in 2025, so I'd love to go to that. But yeah, we'll just see what happens. Right now, just gotta recover. We have World Championships in November in Sofia, Bulgaria, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, no end right now. I'm really enjoying everything. I'm enjoying life. Just looking back a year from now, I was in such a bad place, and to see where I'm at now, like mentally, just makes me so happy, and I'm just in such a good place now. So thank you all so much for everything. And if you've gotten this far in the video, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'll put the closing ceremony after this video, just in case you guys are interested in watching. And I guess this will be my last goodbye. So thank you guys for watching. Love you all so much. And I appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Bye.